Mars crater is chock full of opal gemstones, hinting at widespread water and possible microbial life. Now we know one place that uh, we would have opal in thousands of years would be around the hot springs of, for example, Yellowstone National Park. Because that, those minerals that are deposited there from the hot springs and the geysers turn into opal thousands of years later. Now, mysterious halos or rocks surrounding cra cracks in the Martian crater may be made of water-rich opal gemstones, according to a new study. An ancient dried-up lake bed on Mars may be teeming with opal gemstones. New data from NASA's Mars Curiosity rover suggests Beyond giving the cracked surface of Mars Gale Crater a semi-precious glint, these opals could be evidence that water and rock have been interacting beneath the Martian surface much more recently than was previously thought, improving the prospects that microbial life once lived there, according to a study published December 19 in the Journal of Geophysical Research Planets. Scientists often focus on water when searching for signs of extraterrestrial life, because it's critical for life as we know it, but because water no longer flows on Mars, scientists must hunt for geological signs of water that once existed there. These signs are present in the red planet's rocks and soil, where certain minerals and structures form only where rock and water have interacted. Researchers spotted one such sign in the past few years around fractures in the Martian surface. Surrounding some of these fractures are halos of lighter colored rock which researchers found are likely rich in opal. For opal to form, silica-rich rocks must interact with water. And now researchers have dug into the Curiosities rover vast archives of images and found that these opal-rich halos are not isolated. Rather, they appear to exist all over Gale Crater, a 96-mile-wide ancient lake bed that Curiosity has explored since its mission began in 2012. Our new analysis of archival data shows striking similarities between all of the fracture halos we've observed much later in the mission, lead study author Travis Gabriel, research physicist at the U.S. Geological Survey, said in a statement. He said seeing that these fracture networks were so widespread and likely chock full of opal was incredible. Gabriel and his colleagues were studying old images from Curiosity Traverse around Gale Crater, and noticed in an image taken much earlier in the mission, a light halo of rock surrounding a fracture. That halo looked almost exactly like halos found more recently. Data from Curiosity's ChemCam instrument, which analyzes rocks using images and spectrometry, showed that those recently studied light rocks likely contained silica-rich opals. To confirm the chemistry of the rocks, Gabriel's team ran an additional analysis on another set of fracture halos in a different location within the crater called the Lubango Drill Site. And here the team used Curiosity's Dynamic Albedo of Neutrons, DAN instrument, which measures neutrons that are knocked off the Martian surface by cosmic rays, high energy particles from outside the solar system that constantly bombard Mars. These bouncing neutrons slow down in the presence of hydrogen which is one of the main components of water, of course. When Dan detects a higher proportion of slow-moving neutrons, that means there's more water-bearing rocks like opal in a given area. At the Lubango site, the Dan results confirm that the lighter colored halos on the ground do indeed contain opal, just like other sites around Gale Crater. This data, along with the pictures of fracture halos from much earlier in the mission, tell researchers that water must be ex as existing all over Gale Crater in more recent history. Given the widespread fracture networks discovered in Gale Crater, it's reasonable to expect that these potentially habitable sur subsurface conditions extended to many other regions of Gale Crater as well, and perhaps in other regions of Mars, Gabriel said. These environments would have formed long after the ancient lakes in Gale Crater dried up, this new realization that water must have survived in Gale Crater long after the lake evaporated means that life could have held on there a bit longer, the researcher said, possibly even into Mars' modern geological period, which began 2.9 billion years ago. Mars is thought to be approximately 4.6 billion years old. 
These results add to the amount of evidence that water was once widespread on Mars. To better understand the planet's watery past, the study authors proposed the Opal Ridge Fracture in Gale Crater as a new destination for collecting geological samples or for potential human exploration missions. This is by Joanna Wendell on Live Science. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.